Hey everybody! Thank you for joining me for story time at the Rolla Public Library. Here at Storytime, we're all friends. That means we try to listen to each other and we try to pay attention to the story and we offer kindness. So let's find out what our story is today. All right, the magic words are magic story time bag, magic story time bag. You ready? Magic story time bag, magic story time bag. What are our clues to today's story? Uh. Okay. Ah, it's a big bag of buttons. Wow, so many different kinds of buttons. So I guess our story is going to have some buttons in it. Let's find out. Today's story is a classic called Corduroy. Now classic means people like you and me have had a chance to enjoy this story for quite some time. That means previous generations enjoyed it too. Corduroy is by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a type of cloth. And those are over, overalls made out of corduroy. Okay. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers, buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. There he is. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Oh, well, yeah. His shoulder strap is loose. Oh, you can see it better on the cover there. Hmm. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Ah, and now we know why there were buttons as our clue. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Do you have your eyes for watching? to see if we can find any buttons for corduroy. <gasps> Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up, up, up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. 
I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled and onto a large, thick mattress. Oh, what do you see? What did he find on the mattress? A button. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and he pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button and off the mattress corduroy toppled. Bang! Into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Uh-oh, I wonder if that's going to get anybody's attention. Let's find out. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going, his, going on his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down to the escalator. Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed, somebody must be hiding around here. Hmm. He flashed his light under, over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Oh no, he didn't get his button. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. Yay, she came back. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in the box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corey on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said. But you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa and gave him a big hug.
healthy and well thank you so much for joining me here at Storytime with the Rollo Public Library. Come visit us and pick up your craft bag to take home and make. I'll see you next time. Bye!